here we are. The Premier League is almost here. Is this the things dreams are made of for you? Definitely dreams that are coming through. Um, I'm going to enjoy the whole experience of the Premier League. I'm going to give my 100% best. I've worked hard on the knee, so uh, hopefully it can yeah, be something similar as world match play. Touching on the knee, it's been a whirlwind six, seven weeks since the operation. One, yep. how is the knee? And two, was the UK Open and the Pro Tours maybe a little bit too soon? Uh, there definitely wasn't too soon, the Pro Tours and the UK Open, because I needed to know how far I'm standing. And the goal at the end, the main goal was Premier League. So um, I needed to know if all the exercises that I've been doing on the knee have been um, helping me and that I've made progression. So, um, yeah, besides that, I've actually played, well, at the series, I feel that I am playing really well. It's just results are still missing out. But um, the UK Open, the day before I had to play, I uh, hurt myself on my knee on the back. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't helpful. And uh, I couldn't play well during that game, even though I still give myself 100% because, yeah, you don't want to lose your dignity, isn't it? You say you hurt the back of it. Was that just overcompensating for the actual injury itself and the recovery? Well, um, I've called up my uh, my physiotherapist and my, uh, my my surgeon, and I told them what happened, and they said like, "Well, that's normal. Um, the the hamstring that they've used to uh, connect to the ligament in the front, that one is like all the time stretched, and the muscle because I've been using it a lot has been in a stressed feeling." And if you have a stressed muscle and then you stretch it again in, yeah, like maybe overstretch it, then it feels like it pops. And uh, they said like it's all normal because your muscle is still trying to get into position. So it's going to be adjusted and you're going to be feeling comfortable about it. So unfortunately, it had to happen the day before the UK Open. <laughs> Are you looking forward to saying goodbye to that knee brace on TV as well? Oh, uh, 100% I am. It's actually feeling, the feeling right now walking around without a knee brace, it's such a relief. It's, it's been a long road. I've been walking around with a brace since last year, September. And uh, now to be walking around without one, oh, I feel like I'm reborn. <laughs> Your form as well since winning the match play. You haven't quite hit those heights, but do you think the game is close to getting back to the match play winning form? Uh, to be fair, I am actually in, in now and then in games, I'm actually playing a whole lot better than that. But it's just results are leaving out. Um, I know at the, at the match play, there wasn't one game that I've averaged above 100. And this year, I've already played a few games above 100, even above 110. And I'm just not winning them. And that's a bit, yeah, it's a tough nut to, to crack. But yeah, you know me, I'm just one of them that keeps practicing, keeps giving us 100%. And uh, hopefully that will change. Dimitri, we wish you all the very best in, on Monday, mate, and we look forward to seeing you. Thanks very much. Thank you as well. Uh, hi, Dimitri, how are you? All oh, good, Mr. Lenning. Thank you. <laughs> good stuff. Um, you've um, not only had the situation with your knee and the operation this year, you've, you've also had, um, you've moved to the UK. Yep. Um, so big changes in your life. Um, into the Premier League, it's, it's, a lot of it's a lot to take on in one big hit. Well, the lot of the stuff that is have, has been happening is stuff that was planned way ahead of us. So I knew it was coming. So the preparation for all of it was like, yeah, in, in small steps been made and made until the actual happening. Um, the only thing that concerned me the most about the move was just getting across the borders because you, you never know uh, what they're going to say, what they think. I know this was an essential trip because I'm doing it for my job. So, yeah, when we came at the borders, it was just a little bit of a stress place because um, my nephews were coming with me with um, with a big fan to get our stuff. And, yeah, that stopped us a little bit on the border. So uh, when, that, when we passed that, my stress was gone and then I was just get here and, yeah, starting to feel home, which I'm doing. And we're having a great time. I'm practicing uh, really well with uh, Damon Hera. So that also helps us. And it is a beautiful place that we have. Do you feel since the match play last year that Dimitri van den Berg has gone from the boy to a man in, in, in lots of ways in your career as well? I don't know. I still feel that I have a lot to learn, uh, especially about myself. Um, I just am very curious to the future, that's for sure. Uh, I do feel that I have more belief in myself. Uh, I know that I can be 
uh, a major winner because I've done it in the past. So in, in that perspective, I can like say to myself, Timmy, if you go there and you just focus on your game, you can win this tournament. But as always, you know me, it's first round. Like that's where you've got to start. And do you feel like the Premier League is a really important yardstick for you now to see how far you've come? Well, I am going to enjoy the whole experience and I'm going to give 100%. But let's just say it in an, in an if way. If I don't get myself a few wins on my belt and end up last, I'm still going to be proud of myself because you're not just like that in the Premier League. You need to be successful the year before to be, yeah, first of all, how do you say that? Uh, how do you say that? Um, yeah, announce have a chance to get into the Premier League. But now I am part of these ten elite players, and that for me is astonishing on its on its own. Listen, thank you very much, Demi, and good luck next week. Thank you very much, uh, Demi. You talked about moving to England uh, and practicing with with Damon Hatter. Is it important to have somebody that you can practice with on a regular basis? Well, it helps us. But before that, I was always just practicing back home. Uh, now and then a friend of mine uh, came over or I practiced with my young brothers. But yeah, most of our practice routines, you've got to do it yourself because you always need to learn what kind of player you are and you need to know where you need to yeah, put some more work in. But I reckon for me and Demo, it's going to be brilliant to the future. Like, obviously, we are just started this for like one week. Uh, Max, but I think for the future it's going to help us and uh, hopefully make it even more successful on the tour. You've achieved so much at young, such a young age in darts. Have you had a chance at any point to just stop and take into account what you've achieved at, at just such a young age? I, I do it all the time. Um, the fact that I've always built my way up slowly, like first get into the uh, the pro tour with getting a few belt, uh, wins on my belt on the development tour. And then I managed to get the first place and I get pro tour card. And since that moment that I've, I've never lost it. So I think I have my pro tour card for the last seven years now and I've built myself up the rankings. So now that I am from spot 26 to all of a sudden a spot nine in the world, that's something for me that's gigantic. If I didn't expect it to go so fast, especially not winning a world match play on my debut. That's it's still something that is incredible and I will always be remembered for. But at the end of the day, you've always got to you know, work harder for the future because you can see it in all the other players. Uh, the level is just raised. All of them are playing fantastic. And, mm. yeah, I'm losing with big averages. So it just says, or how do you say that? It's not me. It's not just this, but uh, it shows that what I'm saying is correct. Yeah. How do you think the Premier League format seats you? Because obviously you've got five days and then... 10 days off and then another five days of Premier League action. Relatively short format as well, which you know we know you're good at. How do you think it suits you? Well, it's, it's a stage tournament. So for my own feeling, I know that I can prepare very well. And I know the day before who I'm going to play and at approximate what time I will be playing. And these are stuff that helps me a lot. I just, yeah, I don't know. It just suits me. Give me a stage, put me in front of cameras and... I'm alive. I, I'm home. <laughs> and you were saying just before um, we started recording, the dancing is going to be kept to a minimum. Not too much dancing yeah. this year from Demi. Not yet. Not yet. I'm still uh, building on on the strength of my muscles and I'm still working on the yeah, the trust in my own leg. So uh, as soon as I get that and I yeah feel that I am back to me, then Demi's walk-on is going to be back as well. All right, brilliant. Cheers for your time, Demi. No problem.